So I finished the fast day suspension service yesterday, came back today and no leaks, so we're good to go. I love just how easy EUCs are to work on relative to other vehicles. This guide should be suitable for the Veteran Pattern, Veteran Sherman S and most likely the Leapcom Lynx, but I'll leave a pinned comment whether that will uh, be suitable or not. So a little bit of preparation goes a long way for repairing these. So you'll need to get ahead of time the fork seals, the suspension oil, this pressing pipe, and here's the cost for those items. Some general tools like a 32 wrench or a multi-grip, flathead screwdriver, grease, I just use general grease, and it's a pretty lengthy process, I'll step you through it, but here's a quick checklist of all the steps that we'll be going through. Now this isn't a full teardown because there's tons of videos like that. I'll link one up here for you guys. We just got to get down to the suspension for the teardown. To keep this short and accurate, I'm going to be cutting to the voiceover, so let's get stuck into it. Alrighty, welcome everyone who's tackling this problem. I'm Jono. So make sure you have all of the parts and tools listed earlier. With the suspension still attached to the battery, slightly loosen it with your multi-grip or the wrench. There it goes. Then remove it from the battery and fully unscrew it over your drip pan. It does get messy. Wow, that is really dirty oil. <laughs> Remove the old dust seal and inspect for damage. If it's in good condition, we'll be reusing this later. Well, that's what I did. Use your screwdriver to remove the ring. And that's the old seal we're gonna be removing. To help with the process, use the hairdryer or the heat gun to heat the metal and then slowly work the screwdriver around, prying it up. That's the old seal that we will be replacing later and cleaning up everything as we go so grab your general purpose grease number three white grease is recommended here or what john suggested be careful they are unidirectional so the side with the letters needs to be facing up For reassembly, reheat the top of the suspension again. Press it in, and now this is where our specialty pipe tool comes in. It really helps to press it down. Reinstall the ring. You can just use your fingers here. Clean up the threads before reinserting the pieces. I found it easier to flip it upside down and press down on it. I mark the volumes of my container, less mistakes that way. 150 milliliters per side on the Sherman S and these values for the other wheels. Screw the top in and once again, hands tight and when it's secured to the battery, we can use that leverage to wrench it down tighter. Clean up the dust seal and once again, apply the grease to the inside and slip it over and press it all the way to the bottom. Here's a quick tip for you guys. When reassembling, check out my short video to see the torque specs for all the bolts. All right, the next section is how I screwed it up, if you're interested, and then you can avoid the problems too. All right guys, I'm stuck on the installation here. I can't press in the new uh, seal here and I need a, what's it, 49 millimeter pipe. So I'm gonna go down to the hardware to get that, to press it evenly. It just keeps getting squirrely and sideways with, without a perfectly fitting piece. All right, it's been a couple of days with the suspension service. So let's check back in to see how it's holding up. Now, if you appreciate the work I'm doing on this channel, then consider supporting me uh, at the various links below in the description. All right, so yeah, I've been hitting bumps and uh, 
drops and stairs, little jumps. And yeah, it's looking perfect when I remove the mud guard. Uh, no oil leak, so seems like that it's holding up. And the only thing that I might do differently is uh, replacing the dust seals at the same time. But luckily that can be done without a full tear down like the, uh, the oil seals. So I hope that helped you guys. And if you have any questions, leave them below. Ride safe and I'll catch you next time.